what is up guys i'm here to show you guys how to make a minecraft 1.8.1 server i'm trying to do this quickly so that my video does not fail me for the seventh time that's right i have recorded this seven times now none of which have worked or saved the video file which pisses me off now anyways we're going to start by going to minecraft.net the magical starting place for any minecraft video my dog is sitting in my lap so excuse my slow typing go to download and right here um you're going to um probably have seen the screen before um and just go to multiplayer beta server down here uh just ignore minecraft for windows and all that up there unless of course you don't have minecraft otherwise um go to multiplayer beta server click download minecraft server now this is going to pop up it says download minecraft server dot exe um go ahead and click show in folder and this will come up so drag your minecraft server out it will look like this just minecraft server pro tip number one if you are a noob if it is not working put a dot exe at the end that will make it an application and it'll give it the little uh, green uh, dirt block um, mine is already obviously an application so I don't have to do that so anyways click on that and run it um, well first put it in a folder that is definitely the first thing you want to do you don't want everything leaking out everywhere um, <laughs> little sexual innuendo anyways um, you want to put every or um, run your minecraft server from here um, hold on Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just had to make sure I was being loud enough because I'm freaking pissed right now. So I'm trying to keep my cool. Um, so I'm not talking too loud right now. Anyways, you're going to want to run this Minecraft server. Um, uh, go ahead and click yes, and it'll um, pop up with this screen right here. Um, and it'll basically say loading spawn point, do, 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 and it'll wait like you got to wait like 30 seconds to a minute for it to finish. And then, um, you will basically um, have your server up and running um, for yourself, although other people will not be able to access it yet. And this is why. Um, you need to forward a port, which um, if you don't know what that means, again, if you are a noob, pro tip 2. Vocab, you don't really need to know the vocab for tech, all this tech stuff. Just trust me. I know what I'm talking about. So anyways, that will start up, and it'll loading spawn point, blah, blah, blah. And then your server um, folder will look like this it'll have this giant list of um, stuff and I think the server log and server log dot LK LCK um, will not be there that's just because I'm running the server right now so basically whenever you want to get on you just click Minecraft server and this will pop up and you gotta keep this open while you play Minecraft but it's not a big deal it doesn't lag it or anything um, anyways the um this is basically um the world this is the world file you can replace it with a world you've already made in minecraft or download a world file off the internet like a um survival map if you don't know how to do that i have another video on that um you can go check it out it's up on my, up on my channel uh please subscribe if it helped you or if this helps you i would really really would love some subscriptions um anyways so this is basically what your um folder with minecraft server in it will look like so you're going to go ahead and exit out of this for now um because technically now you can get onto your own server as long as you're running this and to do that you just go to minecraft okay you go to login um multiplayer and then go to add server and then go to server address and just type in localhost all one word right there you see how it's typed um, and then you can call it whatever you want, just Minecraft or whatever. Um, as you can see, I have mine already, the Skullmanjaro server, um, and it has local host right there. Okay? Uh, so that's good. Um, that is basically, now you can get on, you can do whatever you want, but your friends cannot yet get on it, and this is, um, how to let your friends on it. So you're gonna go ahead and go to portforward.com, uh, which is a great, great site. Um, I really, really like this site. Um, it's great for port forwarding. Um, you don't even have to know what port forwarding is to do this. So this is a list of routers. Um, if you don't know what your router is, just look around on it, and you'll eventually find the model 
Mine is a WGR 614V9. So just go ahead and click on your router. Um, skip the advertisement. Um, and then go ahead and um, follow, or not yet, um, go down. And um, what you're going to do is go down to the M's. Go down to M. Go to Minecraft server and click on it. Now, this says do not skip this step. Now, what I did was skip this step, and I turned out just fine in my server. So, you really, you don't have to do anything um, about the static crap. Um, I'm not actually sure what a static IP address does. I think it just makes your Minecraft server a little bit more stable. Um, I didn't do it, and I turn it turned out fine. Um, if your server ends up not working in the end, I would recommend going back to this step and trying to set up a static IP address. The only problem I had was I couldn't actually set up the static IP address for some reason. Um, so anyways, you're going to follow these step-by-step -step instructions. They are so, so helpful. They helped me a bunch in setting up my Minecraft server. So this is basically how to port forward. And once you're done with this, then um, technically your friends can get on it. But what you need to do first is give them an IP address. Duh. So I'm going to show you how to find your own IP address next. Let's go. All right. So I am back. And I just, um, the reason I stopped the recording right there was because I'm only recording in little uh, 200 second bits. Because uh, whenever I record it more than that, then that's when the video starts uh, freaking out and freaking messing up. So, um, let us go on and find your IP address, your custom IP address. So, go to Google. Ooh, Google, googly, googly, goo. Go to, um, or just type in, what is my IP? Um, right there. So, um, you can basically click on any of these. Um just click on one and it'll say your IP address is in big bold letters I don't think you can miss it although if you don't if you do miss it I understand I know some of you guys out there aren't the best readers it is right here these little string numbers right there that's your IP address okay and don't try and get on my server I have a whitelist if you do it's just not gonna let you on so anyways what you're gonna do is just give give that to your friends and basically that is um your IP address and that's it now we're going to go ahead and um proceed with some firewall fact that is FAQ not the other word for all those people who were thinking that I'm going to go to a fact answer question I don't I think that's what it's called <laughs> to be honest I have no clue what fact means um, I'm going to go to a little question and answer tutorial, woohoo, um, lots of good stuffies um, for the firewall, uh, which is what usually blocks your server from being run. So if this, if your uh, friends still can't get on to this right here, um, your Minecraft server, um, then you will have to mess with this. And the way to tell if your friends can get on is just go to yougetsignal.com. Um, I'll have a link to this in the description as well. Go port forwarding tester and type in 25565 for the port. That is the Minecraft port. Check. And if the port is open, you are good to go. Go build with your friends. Have fun. You have just completed the game. If not, follow this tutorial in step two or in video two, and it will hopefully solve your problems with getting onto the server for your friends. And uh, hopefully, it'll just solve up everything that you need solved. So, I will go ahead and go on to step, or part two, rather, in this video, or I guess in another video, because part two can't be in the same video. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to another video now, and I will see you guys next time in this next video in about five seconds.